This video tutorial is brought to you by tipsquirrel.com. Hi everybody, Mike Hoffman here, and I've been hearing a lot from people who are new to Lightroom that are just getting involved in the Creative Cloud and have Photoshop and Lightroom now at their disposal. And so I thought I'd take a step back and demonstrate some best practices for working with your photos between Lightroom and Photoshop. So today I want to focus on editing in Photoshop from Lightroom and some of the different ways to do that. Now the fundamental way to edit your images in Photoshop from Lightroom is to select an image and then from the photo menu you can choose edit in and you have access to your primary editor right here at the top of the list and you can also press the shortcut Control E or Command E on a Mac. Notice that there's a secondary editor available with Control alt e or Command-Option-E on a Mac. And there are a multitude of secondary editors that you can configure for Photoshop. But today we're going to focus on the primary editor, which I have set to Photoshop CC 2014. Now before we go into Photoshop, I want to point out in my Preferences, which are under the Edit menu in Windows and under the Lightroom menu in Mac. Within the Preferences, we can go to the External Editing tab and here's where we configure our external editor. We can see here that these are the settings for the Edit in Photoshop CC 2014. And we have an option to edit the files as TIFF or PSD. I've got mine set to TIFF and I find that this works well. There are a few workflow techniques where TIFF is mandatory. So I've got mine set to TIFF all the time, but you may prefer PSD. For color space, I like to keep mine set to Profoto RGB since that is the widest gamut color space, but you may choose Adobe RGB if that better fits your workflow. And if you're working just with web images and nothing else, you may want to choose sRGB, but I recommend one of the wider gamut spaces, Profoto RGB, if you can use it. Here you can also set your bit depth to be 8 or 16 bits of color, and again, I recommend bigger is better in this case. You can set your default resolution, but this isn't really very important. And again, I would set compression to none for TIFF files. Now, if you change this to PSD, there's no compression setting. But I'm going to set this to TIFF, compression none, and that's the parameters that I'm going to use. Now, I'm going to select this image for editing, and this is a digital negative DNG. And if we go into the develop module quickly, we can see that I've made some adjustments to this image. So back in the library module, I'm going to right click, and here I have access to the same menu that we saw in the photo menu at the top of the screen. And I'm going to choose Edit In, and then choose Edit In Adobe Photoshop CC 2014. Now this brings me over to Photoshop, and here I've got my normal Photoshop editing capabilities. What I'm going to do just for the sake of illustration is I'm going to add an adjustment layer. I'm going to add a hue saturation layer. I'm going to colorize this photo just a bit and I'll make it be a, a bit of a yellowish color and I'll reduce the opacity of that somewhat. So now I've got a bit of an antique look to it. So that's all I'm going to do in Photoshop. Now when I'm ready to go back to Lightroom, and this is an important step, I just want to save and close this file. I don't want to do a save as, I don't want to try to give it a name. Just close the file, click yes to save it. And when we go back to Lightroom, here is our image returned to Lightroom automatically and imported back into our catalog. So we don't have to do anything. If you try changing the name and saving it under a different name, you're going to run into trouble and it's not going to come back automatically. So in its simplest form, that's how we edit from Lightroom into Photoshop. And we did that with a raw file, a digital negative. But now we've got a TIFF file. And editing TIFF or PSD or JPEG files in Photoshop offers us a few additional challenges. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this TIFF file and I'm going to go into the develop module and I'm going to crop this. I'm going to put a square crop on it. And I'm going to bring this down just a little bit, just so we can see that there's a change. So now we see it's, it's a square crop. And I'm going to right-click this image, and I'm going to choose Edit In. And once again, Edit In Adobe Photoshop CC 2014. 
Now because this is a pixel based image with Lightroom edits on top of it, I get this menu. And I have three choices. I can edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments, or I could just edit a copy of the original without Lightroom adjustments, or I can edit the original. Now let's see what happens if I edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. I'll click on edit and this takes me to Photoshop and here in Photoshop I've got a single layer with my image. So this is a copy of the image. It doesn't have the adjustment layers that I added earlier. It's not my original PSD. This is a new copy. I'm going to close this without saving because I don't want to bring this back into Lightroom. I'll go back to Lightroom and once again I'll choose Edit In and choose Edit in Adobe Photoshop. This time I'm going to choose Edit Original. When I choose Edit Original, this brings me to Photoshop with my original image. Now notice two things. First of all, we've got the adjustment layer that I added earlier in Photoshop. So this is truly the original file. And secondly, notice that the crop is not active here. This is the original file and I added that crop in Lightroom. So that can be a little complex, but we're basically editing the original image without the Lightroom adjustments. So I can come in here to this hue saturation layer and maybe I'll change the color on this one just a little bit once again so we can see I'll give it a sort of a greenish tint and then we'll save this and close it and go back to Lightroom. Here we can see the greenish color return to the image but we've still got the Lightroom adjustments active. We still have the crop that we added later and because that's a non-destructive crop we can go back into the develop module and we can even clear this crop and we'll go to the original and back to the library module and we've got our original image back. So there you have a quick look at editing images in Photoshop from Lightroom several different ways and depending on the type of image whether you're editing a RAW or whether you're editing a pixel image like a TIFF or a PSD you're going to get different ways of going into Photoshop. A key point to remember is if you want this image to come round trip back into your Lightroom catalog do not change the name in Photoshop. Just close and save. My name is Mike Hoffman. My website is hoffmanartdesign.com. You'll find a variety of Photoshop, photography, and Lightroom tips and tricks there. You can follow me on Twitter at mhoffman2001, and you can find me on Google Plus by going to gplusmikehoffman.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.